Um, I am Andrew, Avram, Discord, Internet Places, Creative Director here at Shiny Shoe, working on Inkbound. And I'm Kimmy, I'm the Community Manager here at Shiny Shoe. Um, not directly working on Inkbound, working on playing Inkbound. That's right? <laughs> Professional Inkbound player. This is... It's pretty tough. Yeah. Um, this is the first game, or sorry, first stream of 2023. Happy New Year, everyone. Right. Um, and to start things off, Andrew got me, well, not got me. He's going to no. let me open one yes. of the presents. These are the presents that have been the back of our stream all month. Um, you know, things around the office got wrapped up and we're going to figure out. <laughs> what? what? I know, yeah. This, this, this you gotta is hold what... it up, so I'll pump Okay, yeah, yeah, right. Well, I don't wanna. All right, right I'm just right. gonna. All right, let's we're... see. Oh, uh, look at this. What is this? This is one of your games. I, I, like I think it is one of my games. <laughs> Got wrapped, put in the background. What is it? It's, uh. All right. Yeah, it's like a card game. Like, you're like, it's like Civilization. You're playing like Civilization, you're developing technologies. It's pretty good. You know, this is like. If you forget what you have and then someone else wraps it up, it'll just be exciting all over again. Well, so that was that game. What is Inkbound? What is Inkbound? <laughs> all right, so Inkbound, um, and should we like put it on camera a little bit? It's about yeah, absolutely. Extra Sonics here dancing. So yeah, we've got so many. We got a bunch of people here. It is, um, yeah, we're we're in the Athenium. We're uh, it's a multiplayer roguelike turn-based game. Uh, you develop your RPG style character during a run, getting items, abilities, leveling them up, getting better stats, and generally breaking the game is your goal that a lot of these people do all the time. Make my all job hard. All the time. Uh, no, it's part of the fun. So, yeah, we're in a four person party, and there's obviously more than four people here. We can hang out in the social space, the Athenium, um, dance. Uh, some new dance has been going in, so that's kind of fun. Oh yeah, Mom. Uh, do you have any unlock yet? Yeah, well, I mean, I so yeah, Mumsy's uh, noticing that I've got these pretty wings. Cosmetics right. are a big part of this game, and right. I definitely we got, love. We got some new UIs in to unlock these too. I think you can. Do you wanna? Do you wanna show it off? All right. Do the season screen. All right. Okay. Oh, you got this one too. Uh, yeah, this is the cosmetic screen. So, cosmetic screen. Ooh. You pick what you're going to wear. Uh, different. Yep, different slots. So weapon. Body, back. <coughs> but yeah, which one do we want to use? I think you have some that aren't available to our, all of our players yet. That is... Is that true? That is true. Are we cheating? Are I'm we on the maybe, dev account? Okay, maybe we should... just fine. No, yeah. it's not on the dev account. I just have everything. You just have everything. <laughs> um, um, I was going to say, the other thing we can do is go to the season screen and show up how to unlock some of these things. There, there we go. So okay. we have our season level, which gives you different reward tracks. Um... And also, we have silver. Oh, there's a bug that's not showing. Oh, you're, you're a silver one. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So you've got all the rewards that we currently have. Uh, <laughs> and then defeating villains gives you uh, rewards as well. So, electric bolt at your feet. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, yeah just... that's coming from this armor that you get. I don't know. I... Yeah. Yeah, electric bolts at my feet. Why not? Yeah. It's that's thunder awesome. feet. Okay. So, <laughs> that is the best dance. You have to get, I think right now, like level 40 or something to get that dance. Oh my god, it's a I am not there yet. Prestige. <laughs> oh, it's it's uh, his fault. Not his fault. Uh, well, do you want me to... It's his uh, department. Let's Actually, see. Actually, they look kind of cool there. Yeah, I kind of like Pretty it. Thunder but feet. also... Well, lightning feet. Yeah, they shouldn't be there, should they? They should be on the body. Um, oh, John John says it's on the body in their game, so this is just us. I don't know. So, yeah. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta, to answer questions, I've got a lot of stuff that a lot of people don't have, so right. well, maybe I cannot be showing this, but yeah, I got the space cat and the wings and, right. the, and the lightning feet, Super. and yeah. All right, we gonna do a run? Are we gonna see if yeah. the game got appropriately hard? All right. Oh yeah, so, weeks. yeah, so to give some context to any new viewers out there, which if you are new, definitely say hi in the chat, we'd love to say hi to you. Um, we're right now playing with the playtesters, we've got, uh, Trosley, who is a new playtester to the stream, so everybody, you know, say hi. Ooh, hi, Light Phoenix. It's so great to see you. Uh, thank you for joining. And what we do during the stream is basically play, uh, well, right now we're going to do a rank run. Mm -hmm. um, which, John pulled us back, though. Yeah, what's going on with John? John Dunn. <laughs> um, and we're going to see as far as we can, how far we can go, because right. the ongoing 
challenge. Right. Is that Andrew always wants to see me fail on stream. Right. Because he wants it to be so hard that I can't, I don't know, make yeah. it past the first comic or something. Oh, yeah. That'd be great. We're going to do that some, yeah, one day. Um, right now, we are doing rights mode, which is a. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Maybe restart? No? Or all of us restart? Or all, yeah. Do we have to reform the party? You know, turning it off and on again is generally. Oh, extra says. Oh. Wait, so the, am I the problem? Are oh, you no. the problem? Could be. Uh, yeah, here, we can go to the big screen and we can reform the party behind the scenes. Or, you know, if you okay, yeah, sure. Let's. Before we do it. All right. Yeah. That's okay. I'll just. Yeah. yeah just to... Let's let's try this again. Okay. So how about you talk a little bit more about Inkbound while I'm while I'm getting everybody. Sure. Back. Or yeah, if you guys have questions out there in the audience, feel free. Um, also, you should maybe click off of that just to oh, be yeah. on the safe side. There we go. I don't know what's about to happen. <laughs> um, already in another party still. So yeah, we could also maybe quit the client and restart. Or is that risky? No, that's that's fine. That's fine. Right, well, we could yeah, try that again. Good. Um, yeah, definitely, if anybody has questions about yeah. Inkbound, any of the newcomers. Otherwise, yeah, we have a lot of new UIs going in, um, a lot of gameplay updates have been going in. Um, there are now, if you followed along in previous streams, there used to be two battles per book before the final book boss, or mini boss as we call it. Now there are three, but the battles are a bit shorter. Um, we're generally like tweaking pacing and the amount of rewards and things like that to make the game feel as fun as possible. So. We got a lot of the core elements here, and we're also, yeah, like building a lot of new UIs. So, uh, you will see some of that in a minute as soon as we debug our. We are also playing this server that we're playing on. This build of the game is basically patched daily for us and our internal testers. So, we've been doing some things to optimize it for 2023. We're going to bring a lot more people in to play the game. Uh, we are optimizing it for the number of people who we expect to play the game. However, that means there might be some bugs. So we are going to figure that out. And as soon as we can get in a run, we will oh, no, get back it. over. Uh, hmm. Who is it? Uh, well, it says party invites are not allowed right now. I don't know why. Interesting. Have I been... There it is. Okay. Have you been spamming? Yeah. Okay, Malvigite. 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 <laughs> it says, will there be different difficulty levels? I haven't played, but the streams I've seen seem sort of easy. Uh, there will be. And uh, yeah, these are some of our <laughs> best players playing as well. Um, and there are difficulty levels. So we are playing at the current highest difficulty level, which is still definitely not as high as we want it to be. So hopefully um, in a week or two, we will show even higher difficulties. Okay. We're going to start working on those real soon. Hmm. Are we, is there someone? There is one person that is, we're just having some difficulty. Oh, okay. Are they? Hmm. They're here. They're oh. right here. But I can. Okay. Yeah. Um, around. Maybe they have to try to like leave or restart. Anyway. Yeah, maybe. Um, Ooh. Oh, we're all in the party? Yes, the difficulty has been increasing somewhat lately. Also, hi from Australia. Very cool. Yeah. One of our play testers. Very nice. Um, all right, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Don't. Okay. Well, let's try. Maybe it's just not showing. Yeah, we're we're trying to invite you. Uh I would be surprised by that. Um and we can invite you to our party. Possibly. So Huh. You, you guys see full party. All right. Well, we are, so let's try starting we'll, the we'll run. Give a shot. Yeah. And then a if shot. it works, then we'll we go back to We may need to just go to do a smaller party as well, just to, you know, get things moving. Um. All right. It looks like it's working. <laughs> all right. Okay. Let's we go. are debugging live on stream. Oh, no. Okay. Are we leaving someone? Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Live on stream. That's fine. Let's see what happens. Oh, here we go. That's, oh, you want to skip right by that. Yep. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay, but it's okay. oh yeah yeah we gotta switch back over anyway they weren't gonna see that right, okay everyone's here all right so we're missing yeah one of the displays but we'll get there all right don't know yeah so but we do have a four person party. right right yeah. four, four person party but we're only seeing three of us in the upper left hand corner so you know the team will figure that out uh thank you twenty that's very uh that was really nice of you uh, but I think we're gonna be okay yeah. all right let's see so right now we're gonna choose we're gonna choose a villain and yeah what our uh quest is for the run so 
Uh, this one's the easiest. Well. So. <laughs> okay, what is that? There we go, then. Yeah, no? All right. I think you're right. It's then quillings, right? Any quillings. Oh, wait, no. It's a lot, though. That's a lot of quillings. Okay. You well. Like, you kind of go out of your way. Okay. Hmm. All right. That's fine. So. Uh, Mumsy says, I'll be sure to at you <laughs> on the Discord. Yeah, basically right afterwards is your time to... Right, yeah, always. get at me. Um, Alright, so right now we're going to draft a new binding slash ability. Um, you know, I, on the Wednesday streams, always ask for input during the chat. So sure. if you guys have any strong opinions, definitely feel free to we say... Got a pilfer. We got All right. two yeah, definitely. Goal there. They are correct. A little synergy right there. Yeah, so, okay. Light Phoenix. Oh, hi, Fit Dragon. Hello. It's so great to see you. Yeah, so I think... Pilfer right now is a great idea since I want us to try to spend as much money also, as possible. Also, apparently has new VFX. Um, that's whatever you have. VFX artist. Ooh, okay. That's going to be exciting. Um, let's see. Uh, which, so right now we're going to choose what book? Right, start. and it's going to have a mutator that's going to make things harder. So okay. that's the choice. So it depends on if you have quests for a book. Um, and what you're willing to go up against. Okay, so run mutator. Ink shell, each time an enemy is hit, they take 10% less damage up to five stacks, so up to 50% less damage? Sounds right. Okay, all stacks fade at the end of the turn. That's a little tough multiplayer because you're hitting it more yeah. often. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, um, pacifism. When you kill an enemy, you gain a stack of pacifism, lowering ability power, physical power, and magic power by one per stack. One, oh, okay. Great. Proving ground. The old training grounds for the new binders. The run mutator is never-ending story. Enemies heal 15% of their missing health each turn. That sounds hard. Um... Uh... <laughs> I don't know. Uh... Let's see. I, yeah, Squeegee's right. All those... Alright, one person... Ain't nothing easy about it. Yeah, okay. One person is choosing the proving grounds. Let's go with that. Okay, right. Can't go below zero, even though it might say. Okay. So right now we are in the proving grounds. So, even though we were on vacation, have there been any major changes to the game since two so weeks ago? So many, I feel like. Okay. Yeah, we have a lot of new UIs going in. A lot of this balance changing has happened. There's the battles. So three battles per book instead of two. That went in yesterday. So yeah, and I'm, I'm sure more will throw up. Okay. A lot of the effects have been going in. Yeah. Um, and right now we're going to choose what kind of battle that we want. Right, so what rewards, yeah. So probably want money, because, again, I want to spend, want to spend money. Whee! <laughs> I hope we can keep that. Slide? Yeah, come on. Yeah. <laughs> well, hopefully not keep the slide. That's okay. going to work. Aww, it's but I love it. Okay. We have, we have a new potion. Yeah. Two tools, maybe even new potions, I think. Yeah, these definitely look different. Um, left, okay, Graham, one uh, will costs one less will to a random binding three times. Okay. It can only be used in combat. Makes sense. Mm. A little healing. Don't really need that quite yet. Yeah, we're trying out a little fast movement speed. Just we're doing, you know, some pacing tuning right now. Trying to get the game to be punchy and feel well paced between interesting yeah. decisions of different kinds. So um so there has been some requests that we go a little bit slower in during the battles sure. so just like how about you want to like backseat game for a bit and talk a bit about like what is going on um i can show the truck okay or you can you can explain your thought process okay what are you why are you doing all right that? let's see okay so first i'm gonna do i'm gonna consume my flask and i usually like to do leaping strike first so i can get close to an enemy and maybe we might be able to attack or kill this person or sorry, this inkling first. And then I like to use my smash because it deals 180 damage. <laughs> yes, exactly. All right, so that's already one taken care of. Oh, I should have pilfered. Oh, I'm not used to pilfer. Okay, well, that'll have to be the next one. Shoot. I know. Thank you. Yeah, it has a discount for your potion, but I think that goes way at the end of turn. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't usually pilfer, so that's the... Okay. All right, all right. And I think we're waiting for... Oh no. Is this gonna be a... Okay, there we go. Alright. We're gonna have to pilfer first. We're gonna pilfer 
this guy. Got some money. Oh, god, that has a really... Nope. Nope. Oh, what button is that? This one. Just one. I don't know that. Got this guy. Oh, no! That one's oh, dead. I want skin sent. Oh no. Uh, let's see, and then usually I like to steal everybody's orbs because that way I can reduce my cooldown by quite a significant amount. And I usually like to leave myself one so that I can run away. Fleeing is an important part. It is an important part. I do not want to get hit, which you can see if I'm in a safe zone or not. Right. Oh, Here. I'm dead. Absolutely dead. Okay. Great. Right. And then I'm going to end my turn. And that's it. Here we go. Sweet. Oh, I just noticed that Extra is 60, at level 63 right now. That is crazy, Extra. If you're alive. <laughs> Like, what is going they're doing, on? They're doing good. Well, we got two more to go on top of that. I need to add a few more nice rewards. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. So, oh, no. That's okay. Do you... oh, might be stuck. Might be stuck? Well, then. Go back. All right. Let's try this. Um. Hmm. One second. Let's it's do a good this test. Again. I mean, yeah, we've been doing a lot of optimization. They <laughs> clearly have a few bugs, so I think yeah, we're just gonna we'll just start over again. Okay. Um. Good thing you run faster now. Get back here quicker. I know. Let's see. You can. We can kick them. We can try to kick them. No. Yeah, exactly. That's all right. Yeah, um, the other thing, if, I mean, in theory, they should be AFK. So, like, this, you know, um, an AFK player should auto-skip their turns is the idea. So, that's not something we do right now. But the idea is if you are disconnected, it should let it auto automatically skip your turn, automatically vote for you, stuff like that. So, or ignore your opinion on votes. All right, let's try this again. Let's try it again. All right, it's okay. Are they, yeah, I guess... If not, maybe we should just do a smaller party. It would probably be lower risk. Okay. All right. That's my guess. All right. We're going to do a two... Oh, but I can't see them still. Well, Phoenix asks a great question. Uh, is the game balanced around the number of players? Uh, losing a player makes things harder. Um, it is when you start a run, um, enemies have more health based on the number of players. So, And that doesn't really change dynamically because there's a lot of ways to otherwise exploit that. Runs are pretty quick. They're kind of about 40 minutes at most. So... It's okay to restart if you have to, if someone really has to go. Um, so, yeah, that's how scaling works. So it gets a bit more challenging. But in general, I would say playing a party is easier than playing solo. But we're trying to keep them relatively balanced. Yeah, sorry, sorry to miss you, John. I'm sorry to have this bug. We will work on it. So, as always, in development, we're showing you guys the latest. Um, and it should be fixed very soon. Okay. We're going to go with... One person now. One person. Yeah, just right. one part. What two person party? Great. Yeah. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. All right. The latest and usually greatest. Everything about it's better except for the, the one bug. All right. So us and Trosley. It's good. All right. This is good. Okay. Yeah, we're a dynamic duo. This is. Also, all right. Yeah, so we have this indicator. This is the challenge level. So before we were in silver, now we're in bronze because our party is lower collective rank. It averages out your rank. So non-boss enemies have 15% more max health and blight deals additional damage. Okay. That's the pilfer run. Maybe we'll get pilfer again. So we say, cool, we're doing this. Let me through. Okay, maybe, yes. Let's try this again. I'm gonna spend... Uh, Whenever you're rolling? Yeah. No! <laughs> um... Uh... Wait, well, no. Okay, wait, can I still... Yeah, apparently you have a currency. Yeah. 
We need, oh. we need sugar in that. <laughs> we, yeah, so we're... We it. So this type of currency actually um, persists, and you can re-roll very limited things with it, but it persists across runs. So you've been saving this up by doing oh. this in the past, and now you're spending it all. Oh, no. Wantonly, just looking for pilfer. Just looking for... Oh. For pilfer that we are not finding. Uh, and it keeps going up in price. Oh no. Keep burning it. Yes. Okay, there pull you for go. Okay. All right. Well, okay. You know what? It's worth it. Yeah. Money was meant to be spent. Um, let's do something. Let's do. I will... Okay, let's right, see. This is our chance. No monthly or extra. This is my I know, for right. PS fail. Um, okay, so now the mutators are. So we got the Vengewood. When enemies die, other enemies gain a shield. Okay, for 15% for of their max health. Radiant market, enemies heal 15% of their missing health each turn. Ooh, okay. When bosses, and then silent promenade, when bosses are brought to half health, they gain a shield and remove all detrimental debuffs. Uh... Let's do it. Uh, great. Fit <laughs> Dragon's asking a question. Uh, from currency, is Boy of Planet yet? But you can't earn it. Um, beating the bosses of books gives it to you. Uh, oh also, probably once you run out of season rewards, you'll get it from leveling up past level 100, is kind of the idea right now. Um, and no, it's, it was intended to be deployed somewhere, it didn't quite land there, so we're figuring it out. It is not, you don't know how much you have right now. Um, but you can't spend it, you can't earn it. Ooh, all right, what is this? On the disintegration oil, on the next hit, inflict hex and shatter. Awesome. Love it. I'm gonna try to keep that for... I don't know. Uh, White Phoenix. It's it's an individual spend on these quests, so um, you do have to spend the same amount, but it is not, like, as per person. Ooh, wait. Oh, pilfer. Pilfer. <laughs> gotta do it. I know. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes. Do I want to increase? Um, ooh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> all right, so I'm a magma miner, so physical powers would be great because I've got basically. Ooh, I got all physical. So if I chose this and I used pilfer, would I get more quellings? Uh, no. Oh. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> it will increase. But it's a physical. Out. It's a physical it, ability. It, it, it is physical ability. That mostly matters for like okay. sometimes things like reduce cooldowns on physical ability. All right. So, yeah. Eh, fine. Okay, so I probably want crit chance. Crit kill her. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I don't think it's crit no? either, but, you know, Well, I don't want to ruin your dreams further, so. Yeah. Well, that. also, I mean, this is, let's see. Crit. <laughs> I love that. Wait, can that be a new, yeah, okay, maybe. maybe. Well, I would hate to make any promises. All right, call forth a vestige, poison thorn. At the end of each turn, gain poisonous, counter assistance. Ooh, dodge and attacks. I don't really have much dodge ability right now, so that seems. And if I really wanted to annoy you, I could just do heal two HP. Oh, sure. After combat, and I then mean, you never. I've never seen you. How can you lose when you heal two? I know. <laughs> um. Guarantee victory. 
Ooh, extra has a good point. It would be better to build some heat before the jump area of effect so you could build all the bits with it. Oh. oh yeah, I suggest showing the passive to our uh, okay. new viewers as well. So if you mouth over that hammer, and right next to your health bar. Oh, here we go, sorry. Yeah, so, right. Uh, whenever you use an ability that does damage, you are going to gain a stack of heat. You do two, or plus two ability, ability power, which is 20% more damage per stack, and the remove, you take an action without damaging an enemy, so, or end your turn. Okay, so basically, okay, all right, let's try that next time. Uh, I'm gonna do poisonous. Um, wait. Yeah, poison thorn. I like poison a lot. Or poisonous. And two, sea breach. Yes. Yes, let's do that. Let's, I like choices. Oh, we're, oh, well, I don't think I have enough money to really make the carver worth it. And. Got a new potion, reduce the cooldown of all bindings by two, only for one turn. Right, instantly, okay. so it's it's uh crumble. That's okay. I mean. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, right, we have a lot of new art for our events. So um, as you can see still in progress, but it's got a little story, and then you've got a series of rewards and you're gonna read it. No, I was gonna I thought you'd finally read it. Okay. Through the sea, you peek upon two young and vaguely familiar binders, arguing over the best way to achieve the binding they have been tasked to perform. One for brevity and one for specificity. Nope, specificity. In front of them, the unfortunate target of their practice. Ouch. All right. Um, all right, and then I can do, uh, choose be brief, random, uncommon augment for two bindings, random, rare augment, which is in the middle or be as detailed and precise as possible. Two random uncommon augments for one binding. Huh. Um, I'm gonna choose this one because I'm hoping that Pilfer will get an augment. And this is gonna give me two chance, like potential. Sure, all right, yeah, let's try it. We have a strategy here. Okay, all right. Squeegee, all right, next time Squeegee, I will do a funny voice like Mark. I don't exactly know. You heard what it that here. Means. I don't know what that means. I actually. All right. He has a lot of practice. He has two yeah. small children, so <laughs> he practices probably every day. Okay, I did not get an augment for pilfer. I oh, got yeah. extracting smash spawn an orb on kill though. I do love. It's very good. Yes, I do love orbs and smoldering bomb, which inflicts burn. That is amazing. And I'm gonna go for tarnished vault and quilling cage for the next battle because I'd really like even more moolah to spend once I win this, and then I get to go spend it either. <laughs> All right, let's see. Ooh, okay, also, all right, let's, let's do extras. Uh, Other dip, wow, hi. hi. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Is that good? <laughs> oh, and there's the treasure pot. Right, you better get that. Oh, I didn't see the treasure pot. Okay. Ooh. Gotta get, gotta get over here. Right. I'm pilfered already. <laughs> Do it. Okay. And I can pilfer this guy. Boom. Very Fantastic. And if I do this, all right, sweet. Now I've got quite a few. Can I yes, two. Fantastic. Mother dev. Sorry. <laughs> Some people. Not like you're not. I don't know. Probably the second was burnt. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Please. Okay. Gonna build up that heat. Oh, but I want to get out of this ring because 
right? You're gonna have to that down. Yeah. yeah, for our new folks, that is the blade that comes in from the outside of the uh, battle. And if you stand in it and use an ability, you take damage. So you don't want to do that. And you don't want to do yeah. that. So definitely just talking about that a few times and then died. So close, can I Okay. And then... Hmm. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to not... Right, don't blink into it, I think it'll also do damage. Yeah. Here we go. Right. Okay, so manifest of truth. Um, magic's not gonna be super useful to me because I've got mostly physical abilities. Max health might be good, or plus two physical power, which would be sweet, which I think is what I'm gonna go for. Um Light Phoenix says, just want to say I didn't realize how fast the money was going up. Oh, Ganima, yeah, that's a good point. Magical power for that sweet poison. That would have been good. Right, right. All right, well, we are leaning that way. Okay, Ganima or somebody in the chat, since you guys have such great ideas, which vestige should I choose? So I already have Poison Thorn, Rosy Thorn, gain 10 stacks of spike at the start of each turn. That's nice. Which are when I take damage. Deal one damage per stack to the attacker. Remove half stacks at the start of the turn. Outlawed works. I would get plus two magic power um, and crit damage, plus 20 or silence metronome, plus one ability power. Yeah, that's like, that's like their cat's name. Squeegee's Rosie Thorn. Oh, I thought on purpose, that's cute. <laughs> and uh, silence metronome, deal 30 damage, magic damage to a random enemy each turn. That's a very good one. With that ability power. Okay. Yes. Let's do it. And let's try to spend some of these coolings. Let's go to the carver. Absolutely. Whee. So, are there any big things for 2023 that you can talk about? Oh. Uh, Maybe I don't know what I can talk about right yeah. now. It's <laughs> risky. It's a minefield. It's exciting though. It's gonna be a big year. Okay, call forth vestige. Come on, chat. What do we, what should I do? I am I am vetoing outlawed works because we've got two uncommon vestiges here. Right. Um, unearth relic plus two shield. When I gain shield, gain plus one ability power until the end of my turn. So okay. Or plus twelve dodge chance. When I dodge an attack, deal one hundred and thirty-two physical damage to the attacker. All right, Shadow Trown. Yeah, that's great. Hey, Mimi. It's so great to see you. Actually, I'm going to... year, Mink Ben. I hope so. I might do... It's going to be a big year. I'm going to re-roll, because I want to spend all my... I want to spend as much money as I can. Right. For and my... it refreshes it, so... We are going to up the cost on this re-roll a little bit. It's very good. Oh. Just a little... Light Phoenix asks, does Shroud stack with my heat ability? Uh, yes, it does. Oh, sweet. So it'll scale up. Like, if you... Yeah, if you dive something after building up your heat, it will scale um, also, boiling muck when I when I crit. Okay, so wait. So first I get plus 15 crit chance, and when I crit, reduce the cooldown of a random physical binding by one. That would be nice. Ooh, because they're all physical. Right. Yeah. Or bond enhancer when I pick up an orb, reduce a random magic binding's cooldown by two once per turn. But I don't have any magic binding right now. Yeah, but what do you? Oh, no, you are you just trolling me? Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> like, Gotta... I know. Wait, <laughs> Okay, boiling. Let's do boiling muck, and then I still want to keep, unless oh, actually we're almost at the end of the book, so maybe I'll keep those for in between books. And what did Crossley give me at the start of a combat? Teleport to the furthest enemy. Let's give you dodge though. Nice. Good. Okay, let's do it. And I'm also gonna restore that HP. And now we've got a hard battle. Two hard battles and one regular battle. I say they're building crit. They want your crit drop. They want to trade you. 
Oh. What's the crit one we have? The crit chance. Uh, that one. This one? Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. You want this? You know that. Crosley. There you go. So something you can do in multiplayer is optimize your builds by dropping items for each other, equipment. So that leads to some pretty powerful builds. Oh. This one. Okay there. I just wanted it there. Um, let's do quilling page. <laughs> Matters. Teamwork here. What the hell? It's okay. Put pilfers or something else. Uh, yeah, where's the. Oh, oh already died. Yeah. Okay, fine. I see how it is. So you're gonna Why do can I... you no, gotta... I gotta get all the way over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, which I will. So what can it, yes, exactly. With that corruption, with that blight coming in, you do have a limited number of turns to win. You have enough time, but if your build is too defensive, um, and this is a hard battle. We chose a hard battle here, and this is maybe one of the hardest. So uh, I could get my, you know, wish. Um, you're gonna have to deal with these enemies. damage now and submerged. We did change that. They used no. to be completely or, or dodge all attacks, so now they only take reduced damage. Which is both a little more fair and the occasional win bugs, so it's not that fun. reduced damage, so he still would take some damage. I don't know if I should use this. To, okay, well, okay. fine. One other wave coming now, so. Oh, uh, no. Okay, fine. Okay, that way. Shoot. Great. Other wave. Okay. Um. Shoot. Oh, it's cool. Just. Yeah, little guys. That's fine. No problem. They're just there to cheer you on. Look at that. Sure. Yeah. yeah no problem. Barely took any damage. Okay. Let's see what I got. Con of wisdom. Um. Alright, hey, alright. Uh, 
vestiges, and they're all in common. That's great. Okay, so I might want this for an sprout because I'm kind of running a little bit low now. Right. But Twin Fangs is also really cool because whenever I use a binding, gain plus 10% crit chance until I crit. Ooh. Yeah. But I'm not really doing a crit build right now. Probably is, but maybe I should have. And or Misting Bells, which is gain. Uh, okay, all right, all right. Well, people are saying I was gonna choose Misting Bells because I love to pick up orbs, but people say Twin Fangs. Thanks all day. Let's do it. Thanks all day. And let's go to the carver to keep spending. Ah, oh, they're saying Ruin Shrine. Right. You get you get bonus stats for Ruin Shrine. All right, all right, all right, all right. But you can heal Carver. It's just. Gotta decide. That's fine. Ooh, okay. Plus three magic power. That's it's very good. It's a rare. Yeah, let's do... Let's see. Magic power, magic power. Alright. Let's do that. Ooh. Come on. I did the last <laughs> one. <laughs> You put your hand upon the podium and your quill begins to pulse. In your hand appears a torn page with fading ink, the story fragment. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I feel like that needs a period. Uh, you know, standing. Or fine. maybe that's the point. It's a story fragment. So. Let's see. I'm taking notes. Oh my god. Alright, they're in front of uh, uh, it's one of the harder bosses, so. Okay, alright, thanks. No, I don't know. No giving me advice. No. So, magic power and magma miner can be good because burn does scale on magic, so if you start getting some burn upgrades, like we have, um, and we also have poison from our vestige, so both of those are scaling on magic. Um, clearly, this needs more help. But. See what happens when you take damage. Yeah, that's okay. We do have this play bug right now. Some attacks are also not displaying, so I hope we don't have that much. Yeah, so if you if you mouse over the blue and burn, it'll tell you that it's magic. Like I think you're not far along. Okay, here we go. Okay. Let's see. Those friends. Oh, it's gotten shield. It's gotten shield from. Uh, yeah. Okay. Ability power from stack. All stacks are removed when you take an action without damaging an enemy. Remove all stacks at the end of the turn and deal 49 damage. Right, that's your passive. So you got the burn one. Um, <laughs> deals 14 damage. Inflicts four stacks of burn to enemies that are not burning. Ooh, otherwise inflict two stacks of burn. Yes, spark. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. And oversized smash. Larger area of effect. Can now more hit more than enemy. And yes, burn. Burn, burn, burn. Strategy now. Okay. Magic scaling, burn damage. Gross. Well, you're Fantastic. wrong. Fantastic. Uh, oh, we're talking about that time. Maybe one more battle so we can 
do those burn and then we can start winding down our stream for sure. Absolutely. I also have to spend. All right, gonna spend. Yeah. Here we go. Is there anything? Oh, I see Maybe more we'll... burn. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Leap long distance and deal. 100 damage in a moderate area and inflict four stacks of burn. Uh, yeah, Light Phoenix for the upgrades. Uh, they share the same icon, um, usually the same name. Um, we are going to, that Ascension one that you just saw, we are going to update that to see the original one as well as the two um, at the same time. Um, that's going to come hopefully before you want. Um, this might, this might be good because I have this. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Poison vapor, I think. I don't have a key. Bummer. I am going to get some fish, though. Boom. Okay. Okay. And let's do. Mm. Oh, that sounds annoying. But. Wait, when I pick. Oh, shoot. I can't read that. Pick up an orb. I... Oh, no. That's terrible! When I pick up an uh, the Benchwood's mutator, when I pick up an orb, take one damage. <laughs> Absolutely not. I'm never, I'm never. Ooh, and the new fish icon. Yeah, the new fish. Yay! Again, gain one will per orb in the next battle. Absolutely, I love that. That is so mean. Is that? That feels like it's very targeted. I feel like that was absolutely targeted towards me. I don't think so, but you know. That maybe. I know. Yes, Light Phoenix. I think so. I think. Uh. Personal. It's, yeah, this feels so, okay. And let's get the quilling cage again because yeah. of our quest. Right, right. Definitely want to spend. Oh, that's so mean. Is that Colin who put that in? It was. Oh my God. Sure. All right, he's watching the stream. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let's take away. Oh, okay, treasure pot. Oh, no. I was so close to the treasure pot. Right, that item, yeah, that, that. Teleportation item. Ah, okay. Burn. Ah. Yeah, those guys are gonna die. They don't die. Okay, wait. No. Well. Yes. Okay. What does this guy do? Sweet. And. Wait. No. <laughs> oh, no. Yep. I'm in trouble. No. To be fair, it can be a little invisible right now. We are going to do some work to improve. The no! You're right in the middle of that, though. You're just right oh, in the middle of that. Oh, come on! Right in the middle. I just... Okay. I just get into this frenzy when I see right. that treasure Right, absolutely. That I've noticed. Classic treasure no, 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 no. Okay. Yes! I, I don't know how you lived, actually. That's kind of incredible. Oh, one hell. Yeah, okay, alright, I'm just gonna. Right. Um, uh, okay, I'm going to. You better get the treasure pot now. Yeah. Last chance, good uh, way. Oh no. Okay, and then I'm going to. Let's see. Yeah, what really matters is the <laughs> Okay, run. Here we go. Yeah, that run. looks good, Squeegee. <laughs> On that attack. Okay. Yes, there we go. Okay, right. Twenty. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, resolve asks, how did I live? Or how did you live? Can the result be different than the predicted? Uh, I think it's this, this ascension on the bonk, the, the impact hit. I don't know if it's when you just apply burn or if it's the ability itself. But... <laughs> That's good. Of course. Uh, yeah, I actually don't know if the prediction was wrong or if the bar just looked low enough that we could tell that she'd be at one. I'll have to watch the replay Oh, there. wow. Okay. This, this feels awful. Let's do the phase zero. Right now it says zero. Well, yeah, because I... prediction should be right, though. Oh, actually, I know what it also could be. Um, this type of enemy, this type of attack will sometimes kind of, like, hit the other player. So we give you a second to pick out with. Um, and that's something we're gonna fix in multiplayer. We're actually probably gonna make this type of enemy like say who is gonna attack and potentially be launchable or hittable. So we want to improve this type of attack in multiplayer for you should. Try to stand right here. You have to, I think. Uh, yeah, most definitely have to. Alright, let's try this. No. Yeah. Not. Thank you, Big Dragon. That's the clip. No. I think that's probably what it is, though. I think it's probably uh, that we are pessimistic with this, but in multiplayer. Okay. 
Um, uh, okay, I'm gonna pilfer. I do have I mean, my we'll priority. There we go. Yeah. Probably would win. Hopefully would. So, alright. I almost had my dream come true today, but... It was so close! It was so close. So close. One hit point. Uh, it's still gonna happen later in this run, but I think probably it's about that time. Yep. Absolutely. Um, so... Wait. Before, please, let me... I... Well, okay. I'm gonna... I would never do anything. I'm gonna... Plug the socials. Plug the socials. And plug the wish list. Right. Uh, yeah. no, that, that, that's about it. You yeah. know. Thanks for joining us. Uh, yeah, we have those multiplayer fixes. Hopefully get you guys a full party run next week. Yeah, absolutely. Great. Yeah, well, so there is... Um... <laughs> Thank you so much, Quinty. Yeah, so we have Wednesday streams and Friday streams. Wednesday streams are at 4 p.m. Pacific time, and those are casual, just me, and backseat gaming is highly encouraged. Right. And then, yeah. And these are the hardcore, not casual streams here on Friday. <laughs> so appreciate, you know. Well, it's just more technical. It's more technical te in a different right. way. It's uh, more updating. Talk about know? math sometimes. Yeah, exactly. And it, there's just Kinda like, gross. you know, more update stuff. I don't right. give updates. I, right. I, I cannot give updates on the game. But right. um, yeah, and also, um, you know, I'm joined by playtesters and it's just a lot of fun. So. If you can make it, definitely come tune in on uh, Wednesdays. And if not, we'll see you next Friday. Yep. See you guys. All right. Thank you, Boo. Bye. <laughs>